What's the organization that you're here with? Okay, I'm here with the organization Reservist on Duty that is co-hosting this event with SSI uh, chapter at UCLA. And this event today is uh, to rep uh, represent the Israeli minorities that live in Israel, the Christians, Bedouins, Jews, and Muslims. Uh, we are here to uh, share our unique stories and to tell uh, people how our life is really in Israel. How your life really is. Yes, that's correct. Uh, is it different than the way that it's being represented on the college campuses across the West? Yes, it is, uh, you, especially uh, uh, by SJP students, uh, the Student Justice for Palestine chapters all over the states and the BDS movement. They're always using us, the minorities in Israel, uh, to attack Israel and to misrepresent how our life is really is. They're always saying that we are uh, uh, misrepresentative, that we are always discriminating against, and there is like something official from the government that is against us. And we're here to share our stories and to tell otherwise, uh, to tell it differently that they're lying about our lives in Israel. And that's the reason why we're here, to expose uh, these lies in front of the students. It's fascinating. Uh, were you involved in the uh, trip to uh, Irvine earlier this year? Yes, I was uh, part of the uh, delegation that was invited by the, by the SSI chapter uh, at UC Irvine in order to counter event. Uh, uh, what happened there? Well, uh, to counter the apartheid week, they had an apartheid wall. What happened? Yeah. What happened to you? Well, what happened to us was uh, that we had an event on uh, Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday evening with SSI chapter and we were attacked by some around 50 students from Students Justice for Palestine with other organizations that we, they worked with and we were we had to have a police escort in order to, to leave campus and we we found it really difficult or strange because these students are always uh, for uh, free speech and for freedom of expression and we, we weren't able to express our thoughts and uh, what what we really see going on in Israel. Where do you live? I live in Haifa City in Israel. Okay. Uh, is your family uh, ethnically Arab? My family is originally from Lebanon. I'm a Christian Lebanese that fled to Israel in 2001 uh, after Israel left Lebanon. Uh -huh. But technically are you uh, ethnically Arab? Um, the Christians in Lebanon technically doesn't uh, count themselves as part of the Arab world. They, we consider ourselves as part of you know, the, the ancient Phoenicians. So this is like our background and our nationality. But today our nationality is Lebanese. We are Lebanese Christians. That's the title that we go by. You have like a Malachite or Maronite heritage? I'm a uh, Greek Orthodox Christian, yes. Do you have Arabs along this on this tour with you? Yes, of course. As I said, this panel is going to be uh, um, parts of Israeli Arabs and non-Arabs because, you know, part of the Jews community doesn't consider themselves as part of the Arab world as well, but we are Arab-speaking uh, uh, originally. Uh, so we have Bedouins that are Muslims, we have Muslim women, we have a Druze guy, and myself as a Christian. So we are like from the most four communities that we have in Israel from the minorities. Did you serve in the Israeli uh, National Service? I did National Service, not uh, the IDF. Uh, I served for two years in the Rambam Facility Hospital and I was in charge of the personal clinic for the staff uh, at, at uh, the hospital and I helped uh, with the rest of the 75 volunteers that were at the hospital back then. Yeah. Are there members uh, uh, of your tour who uh, served in the uh, Israel Defense Forces? Yes, uh, Mohammed Kabia, he's a Bedouin guy, he served uh, in the Bedouin <laughs> unit uh, at the IDF and Dram Assad, he served in the parachuter, uh, not the parachuter, uh, in the, in a he was a uh, battle combat uh, in the IDF uh, as well, and uh, Dimataya uh, unfortunately uh, didn't have enough time in order to draft to the IDF or do national service. On these tours, do Arabs come and listen to you, Arabs and Muslims? Yes, of course. Our main purpose is to show the Arabs that aren't living in Israel and didn't know anything about Israel or our lives in Israel uh, to understand more of the reality that we live in. And this is our purpose. Uh, and uh, I wish that you enjoy this event and I hope that it will get uh, to as many people as we can. Thank you very much. Thank you.